delegations give users the ability to have someone else act on their behalf to initiate or approve a PeopleSoft transaction. Delegations are available for both financials and supply chain management and human capital management customers. Financials and supply chain management customers received the ability to delegate transactions in FSCM Update Image 33. The FSCM delegation functionality uses the Fluid user interface. HCM customers have had classic delegation functionality since version 9.1. However, with HCM Update Image 33, customers now have delegation functionality in the Fluid user interface, as well as other customer requested enhancements. Some key benefits of Fluid delegation include the ability to delegate transactions to more than one person at a time. You can cascade delegations down two levels. For example, if you delegate a transaction to John, then John can delegate that transaction to Abigail. However, Abigail cannot delegate that transaction to someone else. The Include Delegator functionality routes approvals to the delegator as well as the delegates. This keeps the person delegating a task where the transactions progress. This can be used when you are busy on another project, but still want to be aware of the approvals in process. In a clustered environment, delegations for all environments appear together. Now let's see what it's like to use fluid delegations. You can easily access your delegations through the delegations tile and dashboard. You can add this tile to any home page and it displays a count of your active delegations. On the delegations dashboard, you'll find a tile to create a new delegation, a tile to view transactions that you've delegated to others, and a tile that lets you view transactions delegated to you. Use the delegation request page to begin the creation of a delegation request by entering a start date, an end date, and a comment on the delegation. Note that you don't have to enter an end date for open-ended delegations. Next, you'll select your delegates. In HCM, you can enable the hierarchy you want to use and choose whether contingent workers and persons of interest are included. On this page, you can select one or more delegates. If the delegates list does not include the person you want to delegate to, you can add a delegate. You'll see the Add Delegate button in HCM when the All Persons checkbox is enabled in the installation settings. Next, you'll select the transactions to delegate. You can filter the transactions using the Approvals or Initiate Transactions tabs. Only the transactions you can access appear in the list. If there's a defined role for a transaction, the delegate will be given temporary access for the duration of the delegation. For transactions without a defined role, only transactions that both the delegator and the delegates have in common are shown. Review the delegates and transactions before you submit. Each delegate has access to all the transactions listed on this page. You can also create delegation requests from the Approvals page. The My Delegates page displays the delegation requests that you have created. You can view the delegations by status and revoke delegations that you no longer want. You can view the transactions delegated to you on the My Delegated Authorities page. On the Submitted tab, you can accept or reject the delegations. You can also accept delegation requests through the Approvals page. Now, let's look at the installation setup for delegations. In HCM, you must enable fluid delegations at the installation level. You also need to enable the ability to cascade delegations at the installation level and at the transaction level. On the Configure Delegation Transaction page, select the Cascade Delegation option to enable cascading for that transaction. This allows users to cascade their delegations down two levels. Here, you can also select whether the delegator can see the pending approvals as well. For high volume transactions, such as time approval or expense report approvals, you may not want to notify the delegator of pending approvals. The Delivered Administrator capability helps you to create or maintain delegations. Use the Administer Delegation page to add a new request or revoke existing requests. 
The Maintain Delegated Authorities Run Control page performs the following functions. It activates delegation transactions covering the current date. In addition, this process reassigns any pending approvals to the delegate. It revokes all delegation requests that have expired as of the current date, and it searches for inactive delegates. You should schedule this process to run on a daily basis. The Add Delegation Request page enables administrators to create a delegation request as if they are the delegator. The Fluid Delegations Framework enables your users to delegate the authority to approve transactions, such as expense reports, using a fluid-based user experience. It also standardizes and centralizes the delegation process for your organization if you're running a clustered PeopleSoft environment with multiple applications. We expect to deliver Fluid Delegations Framework in other pillars soon. For more information, go to peoplesoftinfo.com.